Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I know I don't very often make like vlog type videos. There's just something that I'm currently feeling passionate enough to bother doing such a thing, and that would be the show Forged in Fire. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of this if you're into swords at all. It's a show that airs on History Channel, and it's a competition in which four people, um, five sometimes, but they always kick the fifth one out in like the first two minutes, uh, they craft weapons. They start out crafting knives. They have like three hours to actually forge a small blade, and then three hours to make a handle and fit whatever other parameters that are set for them by the judges. And then in the second round, they test said knives on all kinds of ridiculous shit. And then in the third round, they have to uh, forge full-length weapons. They have um, done pretty much every weapon I can imagine, and they keep pulling new ones out that I've never even heard of. Um, it's just like a really great show. And the thing is that it is so unlike all of American television that... Like, just watching it, it's hard to believe that this actually is a thing that has survived four and a half seasons in America. The, uh, the fifth season is going on right now. They do none of the shit that, like, American reality television is notorious for. They never create any drama between contestants. Contestants, very often, they help each other. They do their own thing. They're just so... Such good production, I guess, is the phrase I'm trying to use. Like, any other reality show, you're watching it, they're always trying to make the contestants fight. Like, some of it I would assume is even scripted. But Forge and Fire, it's obviously very clearly not scripted whatsoever. Um, contestants are just doing exactly what they want to do. There's no intervention from producers or judges on set contestants. And they just make good weapons, and they test good weapons. And, um, like, I know there's still some TV magic involved there. Like, I know that the, the rounds are shot on different days. I know that it's not, like, all one continuous thing the way you make it, they make it look like. But, you know, that's totally fine. That's not a big deal. What matters is that during the actual competition, the contestants are kind of just left to their own devices and not being influenced by outside parties. Another thing that they don't do that you're going to see in every other show is, you know, like, whenever there's a commercial break, as soon as the show comes back, they spend, like, five fucking minutes talking about what just happened in the same show that you're watching. Like, that, that shit made sense, I guess, back when you were watching everything on regular television, and some people are just changing the channel there, and they're in the middle of a show. But today, everything is fucking streaming, you know? You're not watching commercials anymore, and that is just extremely pointless. Like, Mythbusters is one of my favorite shows ever. And trying to watch that is ridiculous because there's commercials like every five to 10 minutes and half of it when they come back is talking about what's already happened in the show. And that's like particularly weird in Mythbusters because the only thing that matters happens at the end of the episode. I mean like the thing is I'm not one of those people who watch like those cut down versions are like five minutes long. I actually love the people, I love the science and I love watching the full episodes but those recap things are a bit much um so anyway yeah I would um highly recommend that anybody who's into blades watches uh Forge and Fire you can find it on history.com it's on the history channel and I I don't know if you can find that in every country or if you'll only be able to get them there on um in America on history.com I know you gotta sign in with a cable provider so that's kind of sketchy already but um if you can find it there, that's fine. It's in decent resolution. It's kind of finicky to keep it running smoothly, though. It's not really a good uh, streaming player on that site. I mean, you could also find it somewhere a little bit more greasy. Probably get it in better, better quantity, but I've never really bothered with that. But that's all up to you. It's just, like, a really pure show. You know what I mean? Like, in, in this day and age, like, every show that airs is, like, really really fucking shady, like, with all the commercials and all the product placement, and, um, like I said, all the recaps, and just so much that isn't actual content of the show, and so much that isn't really focusing on the contestants themselves, but just creating drama to make people watch and go, oh, no, I wonder what's gonna happen, oh, he's gone, when somebody starts acting like an asshole, you know, and Fersion Fire just isn't like that, I mean, there's always a few guys that, like, are super cocky, think they're the best, 
And the thing is, in any other show, that's the kind of person that would, like, automatically lose because, like I said, it's fucking scripted. But at Virgin Fire, when you have somebody in there saying that they're the best of the best and they know exactly what they're doing, sometimes they lose. And most of the time, those guys end up winning because they have, like, 30, 40 years of experience and they actually do know their shit. So, um, I don't know. I guess that's enough of a rant for now. And, um, you can expect a real video pretty soon. I've had a video that I've been planning on doing for, like, two weeks now. But I'm just going to be fully honest. I just haven't had the money to get, like, all of the ingredients of the video together. And don't, don't get, like, too excited. It's not going to be anything super fancy. But it is going to be very unique. Something I've never done on the channel before. So, I guess that's it. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. End video.